Us. Hello and welcome to this Zenshin Martial Arts video. My name is Sensei Jomoki and today we're going through Heian Nidan. Heian Nidan is the second kata in the Heian series. And it is starting to get a little bit hard because there's certainly some techniques that are uh, new and novel to us and we don't often see them in other kata. So I'm just going to go through a couple of the stances and techniques that we need to be familiar with in order to do this kata successfully. Let's start off with some stances. The front stance is our main stance and we should be quite comfortable now uh, at being in this position. Now what's different about this kata is how we're going to have our hips when we do some of the techniques. We know that when we do techniques such as shion no kite or oizoki, our hips are going to be forward like this. I do shion no kute, forward. If I'm going to do a block like gidambarai, my hips are open and more on the side, even adyuki is like this. Now, in the middle of the kata, we have a gyaku uchiyuki. So, this means if one leg is forward, the opposite arm is going to make gyaku uchiyuki. So, see how now I've really twisted this hip into it. My belt is now facing over here, but my block is here. So, I've really twist. I can feel this back leg's engaged, my glute is engaged, and there's my block. So, if I show you from here, there's my gyaku uchiyuki, there's my oizuki, there's my Gidambarai. So in all three techniques, my hip, which is kind of represented by my belt knot here, is pointing in three different directions. On the side, straight forward, and then on the other side with this technique. So get used to feeling that. I understand that your grade, it might be quite hard to to do that kind of manipulation with your body, but that's what I want you to think about. The next stance we need to be familiar with is our kokutsu, actually our back stance. So this is where our weight is on the back leg. The stance is quite narrow. If I was to bring my feet together, I basically made a, a right angle, an L shape. And this is basically it. We, we want to make sure this knee doesn't bend like that, see how that's caved in, that's been bad for my joint, not very efficient for moving forward as well. So you want to keep it to that knee and the leg and the ankle, they're all in that straight line. So if I was to move forward, there's a natural movement there like this. You see how I'm just bending forward and that allows me to step forward into the next stance. Once it goes in, when you start moving, you gonna put pressure on the wrong parts of your knee. There are the two main stances that we need in this kata. Um, let us start, and I'm going to go through this first uh, movement, because this is the one that gets my students the most. So we start off in Musubadachi. I'm going to start back here. Right. Yo, you're into ready position. From here, we're going to say our kata. Hey, and Nida! So the first move, we're going to step to your left, which if you're watching this video, your left is going to be that way. I'm going to move to my left. We're going to step into our kukutsudachi. And at the same time, my hands are going to raise up here. So that right hand is going to rise up to your head as a block here, right here. As your left hand is going to be blocking out, it could be a block, it could be a strike. I think of it as a strike actually, but it's going to go out here like this. So I like to think of a big rectangle, a big box that I'm making here. When I see some students, they, they make it small like this. That's not going to be striking anyone. I need to bring the strike out away from me. What also helps is engaging your back when you do this to make it to bigger. So rather than being this small, I'm going to make it a big strike here. Notice how my thumbs are facing away from me. Thumbs, so you can see my thumbs, but I can't see my thumbs. So we'll do that again, first move. Itch. Yeah. Now, the next move, you can end up getting in a muddled as well. The hands are basically swapping positions. The hands at my head is going to finish out here. And you think like a, a punch, we're twisting, round. The hand that's already out comes back to my, by my ear. 
like this. So we, we twist it, making that X here. I want you to think of this as a strike, not just putting the arm out, but actually hitting. Because the next move now, I'm going to pull and then make Tetsu move right here like this. I'll just show you. So, so from this position, the hands cross. The one that is punching goes on the outside. If I do this, I can't, I've got no distance. So by going on the outside, I can reach. And then I do the opposite and pull back. Let's quickly try this on the other side. So I make my box here, my block and my strike, make it big. Now the hand at the top is gonna to go on the outside. Here and the other hand comes back. Now from here, I'm gonna pull and there's my strike. This Tetsu is a little bit different to what we do in Hain Shodan. Notice how in Hain Shodan it goes up and down. We're in Hain Nidan, it's going to come round. So we're still striking with the same part of the hand right there, but it's going round the side of the face rather than going down. That's important to, to know. Let's try this move then. So from the start, I go itch, raise it. Now we cross, cross and pull. Now we're going to the other side. Notice how I'm really tucking this elbow in here as well. Um, no gaps here. Then we change to the other side. The back leg is going to shift to this side. Now I cross here and pull. Good. So that's my, my first uh, move. Practice that a lot. What I'd like to do now is actually turn this way and we're going to do it together facing the same way. So we'll all move to our left um, and then we're going to twist to our right. So from here, the first move is bet, sink down and step. Make it big. We then cross and then we strike. Now we're going to shift to the other side. Each. Cross. Great job. Now from here, I'm going to use my back leg, so my left leg at the moment, to step up here. So, very natural stance. One leg is in, in front of the other, and my toes are facing the same way, so they're going this way. And at the same time, so I was in this position, this hand that has just struck is going to come on top, Koshigamai right here. So we like to call this cup and saucer, and it goes on your left hip, right here. I'm now going to lay and kick your Kagari. Let me show you facing the camera. So I'm going to go to my left. We'll go from the start. So I raise, cross, strike. Other side, raise it, cross, strike. Back leg then steps up. This hand that's punching, see how my hands haven't moved, then they come onto the left hip. Now I'm gonna look over my right shoulder. This uh, my right leg then lifts, kicks, Yorkigeri Kiage, and then I land in Stoke. I'm going to turn around and show you. So from here, first move, you go left together, cross strike. Other side, right side, cross strike. Back leg steps up, and then the right hand goes on top of the left hand on the hip here. I'm going to look to where I'm kicking, which is going to be behind me where I started. I'm now in one count going to lift and bring it from the knee. I kick your Higari, I'm making a racket at the same time. So lift, kick, tuck, and make sure. Okay, so I'm going to kick out, come back, and then step back. And that's how I shift stance. I'm now facing forward again, making stoke okay. here. Let me show you that technique from the side. So, if I was here with my technique, I'm going to pull back onto the hip. I can get my head ready because I'm going to face 
the way I'm striking. In one count, I'm gonna lift from the knee, kick out, tuck back, and step. Little secret to make that step back nice. Notice how I open up the shoulder and pull. So from here, rather than just stepping, doesn't feel quite as dynamic and strong. I'm gonna use this shoulder to step back and open myself up. Good, now we have like three more moves to the ki -ai. quite simple. Let me do it showing you. So after we have here, gonna lift and kick. Okay, that's move one. So now we're gonna step and make shtoki again. And another one. Now we have shihon nukite. So this front hand, the left hand, pushes down in front. So you can think of this as blocking, covering, trapping an arm. As I move forward, the striking hand's gonna pull back to my hip in a fist. Then I step forward in front stance and I ki at the same time. Notice how my body's going forward. It's a very like frontal attack right here. Let's try that again. So we're gonna be from the right side, we'll do the kick. So I step up, right hand comes onto my left hand on the left hip, looking the way I kick in. And I kick, strike, left hand makes shtoke. So that's our first shuto, we're gonna make another one. We make another one. Now we push, pull, yeah! It's our first kiai. So this turn now, we've seen in ki on kata, and we've seen in hei in kata, after the first ki what we do is we look over our left shoulder, we're gonna turn all the way around, and make shtoke, like this. We're then gonna go to the corner, and make shtoke. Then just like hei in shodan, we're gonna turn, and come back flat, and then we go to the corner again, and make stoke it like this. Good. So let me show you from the kick. Come here. I'm gonna lift. Kick. We got another one. Last one. Now we make shionukate. Uh, We're gonna turn. Moate. Make stoke. Now we go to the corner. Now we turn to the corner. Perfect. I'm gonna do it, this time facing uh, the normal way, like facing the same way as you. So let's go from the kick again. So we're from our tetsu here. Step up, right hand on the hip. Look to where I'm gonna kick. And lift kick. Show here's one. Now we do it again. Second one, last one. Now we sit and make shion nukite, push and strike. Now we look over our left shoulder, we're gonna turn 90 degrees and strike shtoke. Now we go to the corner. Now the front leg is what's gonna turn us round. Now to the corner, right here. So, we're now gonna face along that center line to where, so we're looking back to where we started. So from this stoke position here, my left leg is gonna move across to make a zenko sadachi. This is gonna be our, our next stance. My right hand is a hand that's gonna be blocking. So, I'll make gyaku uchiyuki. So this is that technique here, where I told you about the hip really twisting in to make this a strong gyaka uchiki here. I see different styles, different clubs doing this bit slightly different. Uh, what we do at my club, we raise this hand high, we show it off. This hand's gonna come out to create space and I'm gonna bring it all the way like under my armpit, along my arm and block. I do see some clubs, they might just use one hand but how I do it, I go here. 
What's important that it is still a scuba in and round and not just a, like a punch up. Um, so it's going to turn around. So I look along the middle line. Make Gyaku Uchihi. Now from here, you're going to make uh, Maigeri and land Gakuzuki. So that means my right leg is going to kick Maigeri. Then I'm going to land left side makes Gakuzuki. So I've got opposite arm, opposite leg. And again, I'm twisting into it to create that, the, the tension and the power and also give me distance in my technique here. Now, this same arm is going to block Uchiyuki. I go under and block again. Now I do the same technique, that little combo, where I do a Maigeri and land Gakuzuki. Like this. Good, and relax. Let's do this combo again. This is one of the harder combos on the, uh, in the kata. So let's do it from this corner. Um, here. So I go down the middle line. Like Gyaku Uchiji. Now we do Maigari Yakuzuki. Now, same hand's gonna block, that's my left hand blocks. Maigari Yakuzuki. Now, from here, we're gonna step and make Morty Yuki. We're gonna do this in front stance. I'm gonna step forward, my hand goes to my ear, above my shoulder, and round here. So, this is a reinforced. Forearm block is the most common way we uh, refer to it. So, from my shoulder, it's going twisting and round. What I like to think is striking my opponent along the, the, their neck, their jawline, or the side of their head. So it's going like round and down, round and down. Not round, not down, it's going round and down here. And with this other hand, it finishes the support, it finishes in a supporting position here, where I can now see my thumb. So I'm not, it's not this way, twist that bottom hand so you can see your thumb, now you got it. Keep the elbows tucked in. We can think of this as like a, a trap. Someone's grabbed you, you're trapping their arm, and then striking them on top. So the, let's do that from the, it's the Gyakuzuki, so my left leg is forward, my right hand is punched. Now I'm going to step forward, the right hand comes up by my ear, and then I step forward and make Yuki here. Let's do this middle combo one more time. So I'm going to go from the corner to Shitoke here. I look down the middle line to where I started the kata. I make Gyakuuchiyuki. Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Same arm, Gyaku Uchiyuki. Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Now I step, right arm and right leg, Maratuyuki. Good job. One tip here that I want to give you is when we do the kick and the punch, we need to keep our posture good and I'm holding my Uchiyuki in this position. So from the side, I'm going kick, punch, block. Kick, punch. What beginners tend to do is, I see a few things, they might go right here. So I, I swung my hands and drop them, no good. What others might do as well, they might go here, so they end scrunching up. I actually kind of, I need to push for that minor, I need to push for my hip when I do it, so it's like, here. I'm actually kind of opening up rather than closing down like this. Now see how my hands stay in that same position? Kick, yak, block, kick, yak. Now I step, make my technique. Good, we have four moves left. They're relatively easy moves. So let's say I am going to face you for this. This set here. So after my Marata Yuki, I'm going to turn. I mean, it's the same turn basically we do in Hain Shodan after the, the Kiai. So we turn around, make Gidamurai. This is when my body's on the side. 
I'm up on that straight line. Then I go to the corner, I can mark and block Agiyuki. And I look over my right shoulder to where it started, and then it Gidambrai again. Last one goes to the corner, mark, with a key eye on that last technique. Now I look forward, and finish. Good. Those last four movements shouldn't be too hard. I have been all over the place, facing this way and that way, this kind of. So let's perform it slowly together, all the way through. I'm gonna do it facing you for this part. And then I will do one afterwards facing the same way as you, so you can join along with me. I think the hardest bits of the kata, once you've got the start bit down, with the kick, I think that's one of the hardest bits. And then this middle combination, If you can do those two, you've basically got the, the kata, so that would be your homework to practice that. Okay, let's start. Yoi. Hey, Anida! So we can step into the, the first move to our left. Itch. Raise it up, make sure it's square and it's long. Now we're gonna cross the arms and strike. Pull the arm back. Your hikite. And now we change sides. Cross. Straight. Back leg steps up. Forward. That right hand comes on top. Making my cup and saucer. I'm now going to turn to the direction I'm kicking over my right shoulder. Lift and kick. Stoke it. Now we do another one. That's our second one. Now we have a third one. Now we're going to step and make shion mukite with a ki eye. Yeah. Look over our left shoulder, shoke. Now to the corner, knee. Now we're going to go flat this way. Make the same move. Right arm and right leg turns to the corner. Good, now we're going to look down the centre line to where you started the kata from. We're going to make Gyaku Uchiyuki, left leg forward, right hand blocking. Good, remember this, twist round. We've got kick, then Gyaku Zuki, so right leg, left hand. Go, right leg, left hand. Now, left arm's going to block, Uchiyuki. Twist it again, you can feel it. Kick and punch. Now we're going to step and we're going to rock to Yuki. So come up from the shoulder and come round. Last four moves. We turn. Gidambarai. To the corner. Agiyuki. Look over the right shoulder. We make Gidambarai. Now last one to the corner. We're going to Kiai. Yeah! Look forward. <sighs> Finished. Muscle with that. Great. Great job. How did you do? All it takes is practice, and that's it. So this time I'm going to turn around. We're going to do the kata one last time facing the same way as you, so you can look at me. So that's especially will help you in this, this last combo. Uh, one thing now, with the kick, we want to use the sokuto, the cutting edge of our foot. So I'm not kicking with the flat of our foot, but I, what helps is raising that big toe, trying to lead with the heel as well, and that creates the cutting edge there of the foot. So from our, our standing stance here, we're going to lift, even from here, that big toe is raised to help me create that foot position. The whole like, muscles right here become strong um, by doing this, and that's what we want on, on impact, we want our foot to be like, strong and locked. So from here, then we kick out, tuck, step, that balance. <laughs> uh, we, come, <clears throat> we come back, 
kick, tuck, step. That's better. That's our stance. Cool, let's try the cat from the start now. I'm gonna face the same way as you. Right. Yo. Hey, I need that. Itch, step, left. Cross, strike. Other side. Right. Cross, strike. Back leg steps up. Hand on the hip. Look to where you're kicking. And kick. Show here. And again, itch. Knee. Now we're in section kite with a kia. Kia. Left shoulder turn to the corner. Knee. Now right side's gonna move. Turn to the corner. Now we go back down the centre line. Look to where you started your kata. Left leg's gonna step across, right hand is gonna block. Really show off this blocking hand. Like a scoop. Now we have kick, punch. Right leg, left hand. Now, same arm's gonna block. Again, kick and punch. Now we're gonna step and make Marta Yuki. This right hand is now gonna step and make, the set, uh, make, make that technique. So right arm and right leg. Here. That leg's gonna turn to the corner of my left shoulder. Get down the right. To the corner. Over the right shoulder. Get down the right. To the corner. Look. That was a key eye. I'm sorry, I forgot. So that last move is a key eye. Look. Okay, so one thing I want to correct or I'll give you a tip for the, the kata and all katas is not to drop your hands when you're turning. So this may look, for example, in the kata, let's say in the shoke position here in the corner. Now, some beginners, when they turn, they're going to swing it down and then block. Especially those big, those big movements from this corner to this side. What I need you to do is think to keep the arms on top. This left hand, your, your pulling hand, now when you turn, it needs to point to the way you're going. My elbows are trying to touch, like come through the middle, and then strike here. Then we're going to go to this corner again. The elbows are going to come and strike. Same in, let's say, the end of the kata. I've got my aguki here. I don't want to drop, swing, and block. I am going to bring my elbows together, cross my hands, and here, step. And then the last second, when I'm in this corner, get my hands here to the last second, and then I finish right here. So there's just a few things I would like to practice. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, please use the space below to, to write them and I'm more than happy to respond uh, to help you guys out. Also, I appreciate a like or a subscribe so you can keep up to date with our content here on this channel. So until we meet again next time, us. Thank you for watching and keep practicing.